Oh, Jeremy Corbyn, what can you say about him? He just, he just can't help himself, can he? He's just, he opens his mouth and everything that comes out is just lies. I wrote the foreword to a book about um, imperialism, which was written in 1902. The language in that book to describe minorities is absolutely deplorable, and I totally deplore it. Minorities? You can't even bring yourself to say the word, can you? We're called Jews. We've had that name for thousands of years. What my Ford was doing was analysing the process which led to the First World War of the wars between empires in Europe. That's what the book was about. Jeremy, as you called this work a great tome and the analysis brilliant, it's interesting to see who this book blamed for these wars. Well, if you turn to the chapter entitled The Economic Parasites of Imperialism, you don't need too much of an imagination to figure out who it's talking about. It reads, Does anyone seriously suppose that a great war could be undertaken by any European state or a great state loan subscribed if the House of Rothschilds and its connections set their face against it. So this brilliant piece of analysis on what led to World War I basically concluded that the Jews caused it. Now that's an original idea, nobody's ever said that before. And this fits perfectly into Jeremy's conspiratorial worldview. Whether it's a mural he's defending which depicts Jewish bankers enslaving the world, or a foreword in a book that says Jewish bankers control Europe, Jeremy endorses it. Now, some claim that he doesn't see it. You know, we've heard it, he doesn't have an anti-Semitic bone in his body. But believe me, he not only sees it, he agrees with it. Thank you for watching.